Alright guys, here it is. The ban list is here. I just got up. Haven't seen anything just yet, but let's get right into it. This is the official page of the rules. It's actually updated on the English version as well. I thought it was only going to be in Japanese first, and then we're going to be following later on with future updates. But anyways, I'll leave links in the description box down below. But just before we hop into it, I quickly want to show you guys, I actually made a community post pretty much a week and a bit ago listing all my predictions and what I would want it to have and what I would think would come up and stuff like that. You guys can refer to it as well, but we're going to be using this as a reference to see how accurate I am as well. So that'll be a fun one. All right. Ban and restricted card announcement, August 23rd, 2024. All right. As per usual, you guys know when a card is banned, it means you're not allowed. When it's restricted, you're only allowed to play one. There's other comprehensive, like detailed descriptions. So anyways, let's just get right into it here. Let's quickly see. Okay, restricted cards. One, that can only include one copy. Even if the illustrations are different, you're looking at the card itself. The promo 123 Ukoman is now down to one. Okay, that's a surprising one already because I gave, I was having two predictions. Either it's going to be a pair restriction kind of thing or a band pair actually. Or it's going to restrict down to one. This card is now down to one. It was intended for this card to be that it could be combined with promo Louis and used in a variety of decks. But the importance of this card had turned into a much bigger predicted and then increased speed control decks that don't require level three and provides many options by securing memory. As a result, there's a different power level between decks that can use this card and those that can't resulting in a loss of diversity in the decks that can be used for above reasons decided to restrict this card down to one. I know we all pretty much saw this coming. I think anyone would be pretty angry <laughs> or react not too happy in a way where if this card was not hit, it's great that this card really brings up some not so popular decks and makes the engine work. But the bigger problem is this card really just makes stronger decks even stronger as well. Um, so yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah, we saw this one coming. We saw this one coming. There's not too much to say about it. Anyone who plays this, this card, plays competitively, know how incredibly powerful this card really is. How it's facilitated Numemon, uh, Red Hybrid, you know, Blue Hybrid, uh, Ancient Gar, and uh, Ancient Grey. Ancient Grey is not as much as a problem, but, you know, Ancient Gar was probably a problem to de deal with quite a bit. And, yeah, like, this card will always remain relevant for a long, long, long time. And, yeah, it's been around for a long time as well. So, yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Ooh, interesting. This I hit Louis, but now thinking about it, it does make sense. But anyways, let's quickly see what they have to say about it. The promo Louis is down to one by repeatedly combining effects that are not once per turn, such as BT6 mat. <laughs> I see Gobble Bond is way too strong with this card's on play effect. The game speed accelerates dramatically, making it difficult for many decks to compete because various decks use countermeasures against this combination decks are strongly affected by countermeasures and no longer able to perform as effectively as they should resulting loss of diversity of decks being used for above reasons would decide to restrict this down the card to one this card does effectively kind of means like blitz omni for game you know it gives you that kind of memory although you know blitz omni can still attack like once the memory gauge passes but this kind of you know with a lot of decks with the combination of uko and such you gain so much memory as you come out and for example with the matt ishida I played against Gobble Bond, and it's actually just crazy because Gobble Bond is able to combo nonstop. I gotta say, to some point when I was playing against Gobble Bond, it felt like I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh a little bit because you know I see so many player pro just watching the combo go, playing at it, and they just keep on going and going and going, and it felt like the turn never ended, and then it just basically uh, went out of nowhere. So okay, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Oh. <laughs> Okay, this one nobody probably thought at all. Hammer Spark down to one with its cousin or with its brother Ice Wall together. Wow. Let me digest this for a second. This card has been used in decks that include blue cards for a long time, but the increased variety of cards available now allows for more 
card drawing, making it possible to have multiple cards in hand and seeing them consecutively one turn. I kind of feel that as well. Again, it's 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 like they're trying to hit Gobble Bond really hard because like you know you draw so much with Gobble Bond, it's like I play three Hammer Sparks out of nowhere, okay, <laughs> and then you just gain so much value. Um, as a result, it became easier to speed up the game, widening the gap between decks that can use this card and others for above reason is restricted down to one. Wow. This one, I definitely did not expect at all. Hammer Spark out of nowhere. But I think when even back then, a long time ago, when Digimon's like in its old classic days, I think people haven't always been always been calling for this card. But now I guess like this card has been so generic and so good to the point now it's, I guess like, yeah, this game has sped up for a lot since then. And now you're drawing so many cards compared to before. You can easily just play Hammer Sparks out of nowhere. Not to mention the security effect is I've always argued that not only gaining the memory is always just great off using it from, you know, from your hand, but the security effect is just incredibly efficient as well. You know, there's a lot of removal in the game to get rid of Digimon, but what's better than removal than just take outright stealing your opponent's turn and not letting them play. Yeah, that's that's usually really strong, but I'm definitely surprised because like now, you know, now I'm thinking about it. I can understand a little bit for the reasoning, but I am still kind of surprised. And I think most of you guys just as are as well, but yeah, before we move on quickly, just subscribe to the vault channel, turn on the notification bell, appreciate the support from all you guys. And yeah, if you want to see more sort of like reaction videos like these, um, but anyways, let's keep going. Okay. Okay. Awakening of the golden Knight. Okay. So, so far this list is pretty hefty. There's a lot of cards being hit for sure. Whew. This current has been used in decks that mainly use BT16 Magnumon X Antibody, which has a high usage rate in the recent game environments when combined with cards such as Level 3 that support Digivolution. It was possible to keep BT16 Magnum X an Antibody on the board early and move toward attacking. So they really want to slow down Magna X. Now, I know Magna X, it's been a controversial topic where a lot of people feel like Magna X should be the one to hit. Competitive players don't think as much because, like, if you play in a competitive environment, I think Magna X is it is it is sometimes annoying to deal with, but you know they are the ways out around it. We can play. You know, there's a lot of ways to basically play around it, essentially. Um, but I guess by slowing it down and not being able to digivolve for three costs is a huge part of it because then you can't just turn two, slap it down, and then you just got to deal with it. That you know at least comes out in the third turn or fourth turn or so or so forth. But yeah, you know being able to only do it once. Definitely slows it down for sure. I'm wondering if it would hit other cards related to it. So I guess we'll see just in a bit, but I kind of doubt it though. Um, yeah, so the buff play is very powerful, creates situations that decks can't handle. To fix this issue, we just decide to restrict it down to one. Yeah, I think this is also to sort of like hit the yellow vaccine a little bit. I mentioned about hitting the yellow vaccine engine. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be hit or not, but um, the yellow vaccine or armor vaccine has been playing this card with Magna X instead of Magnamon itself, but both decks, even Magnamon, and that can you know play this card and it can just turbo Magna X so quickly. Um, this is interesting. This is interesting. Okay, let's let's move on. Okay, this one I knew for sure. The booger <laughs> Numemon X needs to get out of here. But I'm surprised because I thought they were just gonna hit Uko and just leave Numei X, but you know, I think. Like I mentioned in my post, Nume X solely depends on how Ukumon is handled, but I guess this is the easiest decision, just outright restricted down to one for everything so far. Okay, Nume X here. When using Numemon decks, this card has high board retention from the beginning of the game, and its inherited effect can be used when combined with other cards, allowing this single card to significantly increase the ability to control the entire deck. In addition, since a level six can also be played by this effect, Easy to digivolve from there to a seven, higher output, create one side to control on the early stages. For the reason above, expect this card to play a very large role in the deck, resulting in a loss in diversity in the cards included. I'm not too sure what the statement means inside for this particular one, because I think Nume Mod itself is kind of like, you know, its own little archetype. So I think it's, you know, seeing it in the meta, it was diverse, but yeah, I'm not too sure. Anyways, for above reason, we're straight down to one. Um, yeah. We all kind of see it coming. I always I thought it depends on whether it's Nume X or Monze X or it could be both. 
I personally didn't really like Monza X as much because Monza X's removal is just so good and kind of like eliminates any potential of counterplay. And, you know, you can't even play your ace cards usually uh, against Numemon because of Monza X. So I felt that was a more oppressive feeling just from my personal standpoint of playing the game. But I can kind of see Nume X like, yeah, the floating is just insane. Chip away security, you know, bring back Platinum Nume again and again. And yeah. Really good floating, cycli cycling, and so on. So we definitely see that one coming. All right. Oh, okay. It looks like Monze X is not going to be hit. Looks like that one is safe. But they're hitting TK here. Yeah, so so the thing I was going to discuss was like, okay, they might hit the Panamon, but the Panamon is a very crucial engine to many yellow decks because if you hit Panamon, yellow decks, it basically essentially hits yellow decks directly. But I guess, like, yeah, TK now makes sense because I remember TK is basically a two-cost tamer effectively now. And then ever since it came out, and it's just really good. Having multiple of this card makes it easy to continuously gain significantly increase in memory, guaranteeing stability in yellow vaccine decks, and others use this card. This card's role through the entire game becomes significant since the effect increases or decreases. Okay. Security cards can be activated for low memory cost. On top of this, having memory gain recovery effects lets the player do more and make matches take excessively longer. Okay, okay. I think they're, again, trying to speed up the game pace with that last statement right there. But this is, I guess, yeah, this card is just like has a lot of synergy with recovery. You're gaining a lot. We all seen Yellow Vaccine gaining like three memory out of nowhere. Like, like you know, against that kind of matchup, it's like sometimes like what's the point of putting the opponent down to one if they're just gaining that much memory out of nowhere and... Yeah, Panama and TK combo is definitely incredibly really strong. So, interesting. Ooh, restricted cards that will be lifted. Okay. ST6 Gobumon, simple when attacking, not once per turn, trigger, draw one, trash one. Let's see what their reasoning is. Okay, in the past game environments, when this card was widely used by combining it with a Digimon that had an effect that let it attack consecutively and activate its inherited effect that doesn't have once per turn multiple times, increases the speed consisting of decks that make it use the trash. However, as the card pool increased in recent game environments, there are now more ways to suppress attacks. Because of this, we have determined that it's becoming more difficult to consistently activate this card's effect multiple times compared to before, therefore decided to change this card from restricted one to unrestricted. Oh, does that does this mean purple metal guard is making a comeback from this? Possibly, possibly, but this is going to be interesting. But it makes sense because now you have to really like think twice before you attack to sort of play around aces and, you know, understand your matchup. You can't just attack like without thinking. And then because you can get really hard punished depending on the matchup. But one thing I'm just reading that I'm worried about because I do remember like the purple Gabu, Garu engine and the whole Metal Guard, you know, they can just turn to come out with a bit of setup. And then if the opponent doesn't play any aces, you can just go unga bonga, swing, 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 nonstop, nonstop. And then it kind of felt like that Gobblebond experience, but not as strong. But that's just my my first thoughts on this so far. But Gobblebond, purple coming back. Interesting. Okay, do we have anything? View more, view more. Okay, so that looks like it's basically it. No cards are coming off because this is the previous one. Um, wow, I'm surprised. I really, really thought some cards would be coming off the list, but I just guess not. I guess some of my wishes are not happening, but you know, like I mentioned, uh, referring back to this post quickly, I, I just, I think these are more personal wishes. I wish Dolor Gray would come off. I wish Greymon X would come off. Um, I did say some form of Gobumon card was going to come off, whether Gobu X or Guru X, but I did also say there are other purple Gobumons at the moment, so it'd be interesting to see anything that happens, so that that was kind of there. I guess Shaman Cross 4 and Impmon are not coming off. I did initially say, I posted this before we saw the Beelzeman support cards uh, from coming up in BT19. So at first, you know, I was thinking like, okay, if they don't really release anything in a little while, I think, you know, having the EX2 Impmon come off might make sense, but after talking to some friends and thinking about it, you know, I, I do feel this card is just way too strong at the end of the day, so I take that part back. And I feel like it needs to stay uh, because of the milling of how consistent, especially with the blast mode, the new one from the ace just gives you 10 cards back from trash. Then then, then this 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 just tur turbos the strategy way too much. Cross four makes sense. 
I, I did say it depends on what the sub new support is as well. If the sub new support is just way too good where you don't play the old one at all, then it makes sense. But again, relooking at it a little bit and thinking back, like playing cross four for one cost one at a time. <laughs> nah, I don't I'm drawing two and being able to rush attack attack. I guess I guess that's the whole concept of not not wanting it to happen too. So yeah, so so these last two bottom takes I take back. <laughs> They're not happening. But I really thought Greymon X and Gold were great. But these are just personal ones, just because uh Alphamon is one of my favorite decks. Uh Black War Grace is just one of my favorite decks. So I guess that is it. Oh, and let's see when this is actually effective. It's actually effective together the same time in Japan. I guess it makes sense, you know, um, operational wise, just to keep everything like together. But that's really quick, and that means it's effective if essentially next week. So that means I'm gonna have to change a lot of decks, a lot of deck lists coming, and all that to adjust for the ban list and so on. But this is really interesting because I'm actually gonna go to, going to the in person Niagara Regional, and with that being said, I wonder if this particular restriction is going to be effective for that event but gotta check but anyways but if you guys are going to that niagara regional let me know in the comments down below because i don't know if this is too short notice but this is definitely going to spice things up and this is definitely going to change the meta quite a bit and i'm really interested and curious to see what is going to be good again you know if, if any other decks are going to be bumped up because of this but personally i have to say imperial seems to be untouched which I personally don't play any of these cards in Imperial. I don't play Hammer Spark, and I think that's it. But <laughs> I mean, Imperial is being untouched. Interesting, interesting. But yeah, that will be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you're happy or if you find this uh, ban restriction list interesting. No, no ban hits, no ban pairs. You know, we're going a little bit crazy and complex. It's just simple. Everything is just restricted down to one right here. Keep in mind, guys, this is effective for the English version next week. So keep that in mind. And yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give this video a like. Appreciate the support. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell for more reaction videos and these live news and stuff like that. Crazy stuff. And I appreciate the support. And yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. See you in the next video. And this is about signing out.